Microsoft build is happening right now and they just introduced Dev Home, which I think is gonna be a really great tool, especially for development on Windows. I'm just excited to try it out. I think it's available but it's still in preview, but you can download it from the Microsoft store. So this is gonna be a first impressions kind of video, how to download it, what are different configurations that we can set up. And then maybe I'll dive deeper as I start using this on my Windows machine here for day-to-day -day development. This is the introduction that they did at the Microsoft build. Okay, so going to the Microsoft Loans website, you can see they have mentioned what Dev Home is. It's a new control center for Windows, providing the ability to monitor projects in your dashboard using customizable widgets. Set up your dev environment by downloading apps, packages, repositories, connect to your developer accounts and tools such as GitHub, and create a dev drive for storage all in one place. So this is how it will look. This is where you can get it. It's the link on the Microsoft Learn page to install dev home and as you can see it's still in preview but you can get it in the store so i'm just gonna go and install it so i have my dev home installed let's get started and it says get ready to code in minutes end-to-end -end setup configuration file clone repositories install applications so let's do end-to-end setup okay so it asks me to add repositories and let's connect let me get a repository url let's go with seven days of python repository so i have the repository url uh the path let's go with my github path that i normally use and then click add there we go click next and then oh we can install applications there is a marketplace of applications so let's go with github just to try it out. Okay, there's Dev Home GitHub extension. There's Git Node. I see. So let's click on Dev Home GitHub extension. Click on Learn More. So this opens up Microsoft Store about that extension. It's based on the pictures I see that you can open PRs or look at PRs, issues, and stuff without going to GitHub right in the Dev Home. So let's go ahead and click next. Uh, by continuing your knowledge. Yes, I agree. Let's set it up. Couldn't clone seven days of Python fail tasks. Okay, let's click on summary. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Why couldn't it clone the repository? Seven days of Python. Let's go with their <laughs> default path that the app itself mentioned, because I think I already have seven days of Python repository cloned. Maybe that's what the issue was. Click next. I agree, set up. Okay, open dashboard. So I can monitor stuff in here, but add new visit. 
Oh, I see. So I have to sign in now. And this is what the screen shows. So it wants me to authorize uh, Dev Home to use GitHub. Use GitHub Mobile. Sure, I will need to get a code. Okay, so the UART happened. Let's see if we can pull issues and stuff. Oh, there we go. Let's pin that. Uh, I see now. So you can have dashboard based on your liking. So now I have GitHub issues that have a mention of my username, which is cool. Oh, GPU utilization, SSH keychain. There's memory, network, and CPU. Let's add CPU. Sure. Nice. Can I customize it? No. I wanted it to move. So I cannot move it. Okay. Let's add memory too. There we go. So that looks pretty cool. Like I'm liking the looks and the things you can do. I just couldn't figure out why I couldn't set up a project. So let's try that again. Enter URL. Sure. Next. Um, sure, let's go with Docker desktop this time. Yep, that seems fine. An application. I agree. Set up. Couldn't clone seven days of Python. I don't know why it cannot clone it because it's a it's a public repo so i don't know what's causing the issue is there a back button because i want to go back to the previous screen i guess not uh hmm. so my github account is already associated go back to dashboard yeah like why Let's click on summary after this because last time, I don't know, it didn't load up or I was navigating too fast, I guess, and I missed that page. So let's see what it says in the summary on why it cannot clone seven days of Python. I like how it says, stay tuned for the magic. Setup initiated. Okay, so the Docker desktop took some time as it should. I know it's a big <laughs> install. So now let's click on summary to see why it couldn't clone seven days of Python. One application installed, and now I cannot go back. So on the summary, it just says what application was installed, but didn't give me details on why it failed. But there was an error code on the side when I tried to clone it, right? So let's see what's going on. But now I guess I can have a widget with Docker. No, okay. Let's try it again. So that is the repository URL, right? Oh, I'm missing a git at the end. See, I knew it was not the app that was wrong. It was me. So click add. Now let's click next. I agree. Oh, okay. I still couldn't do it. Hm. I don't know what this error code is. But yeah, first impressions. I like what they're trying to do. I can't figure out why I cannot clone a repository, which is public. I'm also signed in with my GitHub account, so it shouldn't be any issues. I don't know what this error code means, so I would have to investigate. But if someone knows why I'm seeing this error, please let me know how to mitigate this. But I get it. It's in preview. Um, I'm excited where this project goes. I usually code on my Windows PC, so love the dashboard also would love to see more integrations with you know different applications that i use i already saw postman was listed but yeah it's exciting times to be a developer using a windows machine i'll keep you posted on if i start using this regularly first i have to figure out the repository issue but yeah i'll see you in the next one peace